this video we're going through the selections and rejections of photographs and showing you just how quick and easy it is to do that. So I took some photographs of plovers in the park so let's go to that folder and there we can see the selection of photographs that I've got. So a quick way to get to view your photographs is by either double clicking or by pressing the spacebar uh, brings your photograph up into full view and a further option is by clicking on the V key um, for viewing. And here we see the photographs without any of the menus around. Now you have the option down here to be able to select or reject the photograph by clicking on these flags. Snapper Photo Manager has made this even easier by giving you the hotkey of F for select your flag and R for reject flag of a photograph. So let's start. This particular photograph, remember what I'm wanting to do here is select the photographs that are in focus. Not necessarily my best photographs, but the photographs that uh, I wish to keep. So this one looks in fairly good uh, focus. So I'm going to hit my F key and there you can see that the select uh, flag is now being uh, identified. So using my right arrow key I'm able to get to the next photograph. So again this one's in focus so I'm going to select F for flag and move to the next one. There I can see the little baby inside. If I want to zoom in I use my up or down arrow key to be able to see the photograph quickly and easily and this one I'm going to reject and move to the next photograph. That's definitely a reject and let's move to the next one that one I'm going to select, the next one, yes, I'm going to select that one too. That one I don't particularly like, um, but if I zoom in, yeah, no, I'm going to leave that one. Let's move to the next one. There's the baby again hiding away. Let's put reject onto that one. I like that photograph. I'm going to keep it. Move to the next one. There's the mother and the baby. Um, I'm not going to select or reject this one. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And the same with this one and that one I like. So I'm going to select flag and get to that one. Yes, I like that one better. But that's we're not doing any selections and ratings. We're just doing selections at the moment. So that one's in focus. I'm going to keep it. Move to that one. There's some good light on it. And move to the next one. Right, there we go. Also some decent light. Move to that one. I like it. Flagged. That one, yeah, a little bit of an interest. Let's go back to that one. Yes, I'm going to flag that one and flag that one. Now hitting my V key again brings back all my menu options and hitting the space key takes me back to the thumbnail view. Now as you can see all the photographs have been flagged or unf left unflagged or rejected but it's hard to organize and filter these. So Photo Manager gives you the option by this quick view menu here at the top. If we press the padlock, we click on it, it locks all the photographs in this viewing pane for you to be able to identify which have been selected, rejected or even star rated. But that, more about that in another video. So if we go to slow show the selected photographs, there I can see a selection of all the photographs that have been selected. So they've got the flag select attached to those photographs. If I go and click on the rejected photographs, I can see that those are the three photographs that I've rejected. So a very quick and easy way to be able to see your photographs of so selected and rejected. If I want to see all the photographs, I unselect the rejected photographs and there I can see all the photographs in that folder, all 19 of them. Click on the flag and I see all the selected photographs. So of this we've selected 13 photos. A nice option is clicking on the reject flag and clicking on the select all button or right clicking on a photograph and clicking select all. I can now remove these photographs from my album simply by clicking on remove photographs and choosing to remove just from photo manager or deleting from a hard drive and sending them to the recycle bin. In this instance I'm just going to click on remove to remove from photo manager and immediately my library is now uncluttered 
and now you can see there's no photographs displayed by clicking back on the show selected I see all of my photographs that I've just recently selected